Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So the uh, project to uh, bring the Instax film inside the uh, peel apart or 4x5 cameras is moving forward. This time I have uh, uh, customized the uh, dark slide and I have uh, created a new one with uh, uh, a sheet of aluminium or just metal, I think it's aluminium, I'm not sure about that. Uh, and uh, I have painted the uh, cartridge itself. I have started with the uh, Instax Mini as a test. And I have also put uh, some kind of uh, sponge, the same that you can find uh, on the back of each camera to protect from any kind of light leak. So with this setup, uh, I'm going to test again uh, uh, one more time and see how will be the results. So what I'm going to do now is to simulate uh, the real case where with the improved uh, cartridge and uh, dark slide we are going to directly put inside and then remove with uh, the ambient light. Just for this purpose I will go to turn off the uh, LED light because we need to try to simulate as much as possible a subdued uh, ambient light. I have here with me the uh, new cartridge painted and the uh, dark slide. We put inside remove the dark slide and then close and now we are going to turn on back the light and this will be our subject so we are going to use uh, this uh, uh, Domo Meter D light meter and is already set up for iOS ISO 800. And uh, it says uh, F. Uh, eight shutter speed 125th of a second so we move our f to eight we move the shutter speed to 125th of the second we cock and then we take the picture now i will turn off again the led light I will close uh, the camera and I'm going to put uh, the dark slide with the light inside the, uh, the room, the normal light. Now, with this situation, we are going to put uh, the rubber band and now put in the uh, changing bag and develop the picture and check it out together. Okay, so uh, we turn on the camera. We cover the lens and take the picture. And it come out and it come out properly uh, we still have a little bit of light leak here but uh, this is the first version that I have uh, made and uh, what I'm now working on is to improve this one with the possibility to easily 
uh, take it out as well as uh, I'm working on uh, an improvement of uh, this set as well to facilitate uh, the uh, the fact that uh, how I can put inside and uh, open it. I feel like the final result it's definitely better than the previous one in terms of light leaks because uh, is uh, more uh, uh, more controlled. We still have it there, but uh, uh, again, I feel like it's getting uh, uh, better. So what I'm going to do for the next uh, uh, tests? Uh, first of all, I'm going to try to make uh, the dark slide better and uh, make it in a way that uh, would be easier for me to take it out and put it back uh, because I feel like that is definitely uh, an important point if we want to uh, reduce any possible light leak uh, when we are doing this type of operations. And uh, I'm, uh, as mentioned in the other video, uh, I have almost finished the um, the case to keep all of this cartridge. So my next step would be try to improve uh, the uh, whole set in order to uh, have a better uh, adhesion when uh, the film is inside and facilitate any type of operations that we have to do uh, with the cartridge uh, itself. So stay tuned for any further updates and uh, I'm uh, really involved in this project and I want to try to uh, make it better and better so that uh, it will be easier for everyone to uh, utilize. In order to do that, the only thing that you have to do is uh, simply subscribe to my channel and click the uh, bell button that you find so that you will be notified about any updates that I'm going to, uh, to do about this project, as well as the other videos as well, of course. That's all for me and thank you again for uh, your support. Uh, please share the uh, video and uh, again help the channel grow. It would be really good for me and uh, it will motivate me to uh, keep moving forward on this and other projects as well. Until next time, as usual, stay clicked. Bye.